here. Your breaking news station, Krim 2 News. Have voted and we have heard your vote. The results of Tom's tailgate weather are in. You have voted uh, that you want me in Tenasket this coming Friday for the Okanagan at Tenasket game. That game beat out the Potlatch at Lakeside game with 62% uh, of the votes. Um, uh, We've got about 10,200 votes total this week, 10,200 votes. Both Tenasca and Okanagan are get uh, checks for 222 bucks from Toyota. And look and at this Chief beautiful... Chief Meteorologist Tom Sherry is in the town of Tenasca tonight. He joins us live with a look at your weekend weather and the wildfire danger as we head into autumn. Tom, you look like you're having a good time out there. I am having a great time. I'm in Tenasket right now. Big uh, football game tonight. It's all part of Tom's tailgate weather. We've got the uh, Okanagan Bulldogs right here. As they get ready to take on the Tenasca Tigers right here. And may I just say, an absolutely beautiful drive. And the only thing better than the drive is when you actually get here because it's absolutely gorgeous and also pretty good air quality up here. But letting you know uh, about a fire weather watch that has now been issued through tonight into tomorrow. And that's because we are going to have a weak little disturbance that's going to move through mostly the east slopes of the Cascades and also down into the Palouse could bring a little dry lightning. Unfortunately, not a whole lot of rain, but we could get some dry lightning storms. And that would not be a, a good situation. We'll keep an eye on that for you. You see the day planner forecast, though. Absolutely beautiful evening, minus the smoke out of it. You can see we've got uh, overnight lows dropping down into the mid-50s. Highs tomorrow in the mid to upper 80s. I'll have more from beautiful Tenasket with these great-looking group of kids right here, all coming up with Tom's tailgate weather. Back to you, Ashley. All right, thank you, Tom. Tom's tailgate Southcoast. weather, sponsored by North Idaho College, Great Floors, and your local Toyota dealers. And now, the Krim 2 News Storm Tracker 2 forecast with Tom Sherry. Well, Tom got out of the office today and he made the three hour trip to Tenasket, Washington for his weekly tailgate weather. He's live now with a look at what's ahead for the first fall weekend. How's it going, Tom? I'm telling you, it is going great up here. Got a big matchup. Okanagan taking on Tenasket, uh, about 25 miles separates the two communities, right? Yeah. So but quite a bit of a rivalry going on between the two schools. We like to see that, but lots of friendship as well. When you're that close, only 25 miles, there's a lot of overlap. So good, good times. I tell you what, absolutely beautiful up here. Where can I get some good uh, apples? Down the road. Down the road, they say. <laughs> Don't forget about the cherries, right? Yeah. The Bing cherries. Okay. Let's talk about weather, then we'll talk to some of these kids. We'll have a little bit of fun. Got some money to give away as well. You take a look now at uh, some of the uh, we. Uh, the tailgate weather in your neighborhood. Basically, if you're heading out to any of the high school football games, absolutely beautiful as we kick the ball through the goal post. You see that we've got a really warm first half, and those temperatures right now in indicative of that first half of play. Most of the high school is kicking off at 7 o'clock tonight, but we've got temperatures in the 80s and 70s all across the area. Take a look at this as we fly around the region. We'll show you these incredibly warm temperatures still in the forecast for Saturday. Some cooler air moving into western Washington and western Oregon, but overall, as you can see in central Washington, back here in eastern Washington, northern Idaho, you've got temperatures well into the 80s in most locations, even some 90s to talk about. Tomorrow being the first day of autumn and still summer temperatures hang on, and those summer temperatures hang on through the weekend into the first part of next week, and then we've got some comfortable weather next week with plenty of sunshine on tap, and temperatures in the 70s should be absolutely great. Well, we, it's time now to, it is time now to pr do a check presentation. Give us the money. Give us the money. All right, it is time to give away some money, courtesy of Toyota. <laughs> kind of carried over there, didn't it? We had one extra. Uh, we have from Tenasca, we have Alicia Edwards, who is yep. the ASB president, yes. who also plays on the uh, soccer team, right? Yep. Soccer. You just had practice today. Yes, I How's did. the team doing? We're doing good. We love soccer players. Good yes, for you. Yes, I Cur love soccer. Okay. <laughs> and courtesy of uh, Toyota, we've got $222. Any plans with that money? 
Uh, I don't know what we're gonna yeah, do it's yet. Going to the, it's going to the <laughs> well, school. It'll, go it'll be the principal. Or it'll be mine. No. <laughs> well done, Alicia. Uh, we have uh, from Okanagan. This is Josie uh, uh, Heinz Heinzelman. 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 Yes. Thank you very much. <laughs> Josie hopes to go to UCLA or USC, right? Yes. You're a senior. Uh, we from uh, Toyota. We've got a check there for two hundred twenty-two dollars. Yes. Also, the senior of the cheerleading squad. Yes, the captain. They, oh, they, yeah, the captain. That's right. Well done. Well, look, ladies. Thank you very, very much. There's some money for your school. Uh, that wraps up another check presentation. Thanks for the money. <laughs> Thanks for the money. You are very, very welcome. Uh, we'll be back at 6 o'clock tonight. We'll have more fun from Tenasket as Okanagan takes on Tenasket during Tom's tailgate weather. Back to you, Ashley. All right. Smoke thank you, Tom. Well, between Lewiston and Orofino. Tom Sherry has your Storm Tracker 2 first weather live tonight from Tenasket where he's getting ready for the Tigers to take on the Okanagan Bulldogs. Hey, Tom. <laughs> I tell you what, I'm loving my job. And I tell you, Tenasket is absolutely beautiful with pretty good air quality here. Uh, real quick before we talk about the weather, this community has come together in a huge way. Just take a quick look over there. You can see all these people that are here doing a little barbecuing. And Alyssa, who's with the Tigers here in Tenasket, who, don who donated all the food in the community? The Frontier Foods in Orville, Washington. We thank you, Frontier Foods in Oroville, Washington. Well done, Alyssa. Let's talk about it, shall we? Well, we've got that fire weather watch in effect for tonight into Saturday as a weak disturbance moves into the area, and that could bring us a uh, few potential dry lightning strikes. Those areas are shaded that you see uh, right now on your screen. Take a look at your day plan or forecast, calling for a beautiful evening. Overnight lows dropping down into the 50s. Look at Saturday's high temperature climbing all the way in the mid to upper 80s. Ladies and gentlemen, and I don't know if you can see this right here, but this is absolutely gorgeous. It is a case, the 1946 case VAO orchard tractor that was not looking like this about a year ago. And I've got Mr. Debach, who is, uh, runs the uh, the ag uh, uh, portion of the, the school out here, right? The ag portion and of all the your FFA. And, yep. and the FA. And all your kids fixed this thing up. Uh, we had about 14 kids that worked on it. Uh, one's behind me at Wyatt O'Brien, and then George Hills, one of our community volunteers that came in and put countless hours to rebuild this. But this tractor, we went back to the National FFA contest and saw that there was an activity for that. Yeah. 22 tractors in the entire nation are the only ones that got submitted this year. Oh and when this got pulled out of the weeds, if you go to the website on Dello right. Restore Tractor, it's We've on Facebook. We've got a Facebook. link on Krem.com. Yep. We can vote for this you can, to be part of the competition. You can see the video of this actually being rebuilt completely. Wow. The kids made the entire video. Amazing. You can see a before after picture, <laughs> and you can see good things that kids are doing in the state of Washington. I like it, Mr. Debach. Thank you, Wyatt. We took a little extra time there. I send it back to you, Ashley. Thank <laughs> All you. All right, we don't mind, Tom. Thank you very much. Uh I am back in. Uh, here I am broadcasting live from Tenasket, Washington. The Tenasket Tigers, ladies and gentlemen, are taking on the Okanagan Bulldogs. This is a fun... This is a really, really, really fun community to be in. One is it's just absolutely beautiful, and it's great because Okanagan's about 25 miles away from Tenasket, so a little bit of a rivalry that goes on here as well. So we're going to have a lot of fun tonight, and it's absolutely beautiful weather. We're in shorts and just uh, enjoying life out here. We're going to talk to some of these kids in just a little bit. We need to talk about your weather, though. Uh, fall officially arrives on Saturday, but gosh, it feels like summer is hanging on, hanging on. Any complaints about the weather? No. no. You like it warm? Like it. Yeah. yeah. That's what we're saying right here. So take a look at this as we kick the ball through the uh, the uh, goalposts. You can see we've got a beautiful first half of football. Temperatures are all in the 80s and 70s in most locations. Absolutely perfect. Uh, we continue on show you what we've got going on as far as your forecast and highs for the first day of fall, which will feel more like the uh, uh, you know summer weather. Uh, the only cool air is moving in west of the Cascades right now, but still temperatures in the 80s and 90s in central Washington, eastern Washington, northern Idaho, and on into areas of western Montana. As a matter of fact, when you take a look at the 10-day forecast here, you see the warm weather continues through about Monday, and then we're going to see temperatures begin to moderate back into the mid-70s. Should be great. Got the great band here. This is a Tenasket pep band. The only senior, I believe, in the band, right? What is your name? Becky. Becky and Becky, you play the clarinet? Yes. And you love being in the band? I guess so. Okay, we like that. We've only got about 30 seconds. What's the name of this song again? Crunch time. Crunch time. Here's Crunch Time. Play us back to Ashley.
quality alert is now in effect for eastern Washington and North Idaho and lightning storms on the way this weekend could help these fires explode. Chief Meteorologist Tom Sherry has the details on this weekend's fire weather watch from Tenasket where he's live for tonight's tailgate weather. Hey Tom. I, I tell you what, having a great time up here in Tenasca. These kids are absolutely amazing. Lots and lots of fun. Little bit, little bit of a delay right there. Do need to talk about that fire weather watch that has been issued by the National Weather Service for the east slopes of the Cascades and portions of the Palouse. A weak disturbance tonight into Saturday could trigger some dry lightning. So obviously we're keeping an eye on that and keeping our fingers crossed. But my goodness, what a night. Temperatures in the 70s, overnight lows dropping down into the 50s, and you can see daytime highs tomorrow once again in the mid to upper 80s. This is a little segment that we call Get to Know a High School Student uh, from uh, Okanagan, right? Yeah. We've got uh, Kaylee Hunter, who's a senior. Senior at yeah. Okanagan. Kaylee, I'm going to ask you a few questions. We'll get to know you, okay? So let me ask you this. Uh, what college are you going to go to next year? North Idaho College. And I see. Yes. Okay, very good, very good answer. Uh, who can you most often manipulate? Your mom or your dad? Who, get, who can you get your way with most often? My mom. Oh, <laughs> a lot of times it was the dad, but now it's the mom, okay? And uh, what is one thing people would be surprised to know about you? Um, that I'm really a neat person. Oh, yeah. she's really a neat person. Is that true, her friend? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Just like that. All right, we'll have more from Tenasket in beautiful north central Washington coming up in a few minutes. Crim 2 News Storm Tracker 2 Forecast with Tom Sherry. And I'm broadcasting live from Tenasket, Washington. I got to tell you, this is the new group coming up. All you, all you kids live in Tenasket? Yeah. yeah. And, you, and uh, what grades are we in about? Fifth. Fifth grade? So we're all grade schoolers. Uh, pretty cool to come to the high school and watch uh, the Tenasket Tigers. Mm -hmm. You looking forward to when you get to be a high school kid? Yeah. And football players, cheerleaders, the staff, and all the kids, they all look pretty cool, don't they? Yeah. All right, okay, well, there they are. All right, step off right now. Good seeing you. Good seeing you. That's the future there, ladies and gentlemen. The future. <laughs> Let's talk about weather. Then we're going to uh, talk to a special young man that you'll get to meet from the Tenasket area as well. And as you take a look at the football, kick it through the goalpost. What a great night for football. Would you rather have it warm or cold tonight? Warm. Absolutely. Warm. First half is going to be warm. Second half is going to be cool. Look at those current temperatures. Lots of 70s all around the region, even some 80s. And we take you around, show you Saturday's forecast. Tomorrow is the first day of what? Fall. Oh, absolutely. Oh. <laughs> but as you're looking at those temperatures, it's hard to believe. Temperatures in the 80s everywhere you look, even some 90s uh, here in eastern Washington and northern Idaho. Again, incredibly warm weather. Uh, the only pr uh, problem has been the smoke that has been plaguing some folks. Our heart goes out to you on that because we're dealing with smoke and haze in the Spokane area as well. 10-day forecast calls for the warm weather to continue through the weekend and into Monday, and then we'll see temperatures moderating uh, next week. All right, we are back right now. And it is time to talk to my friend. Uh, come up right up here. This is uh, Marcino, uh, Mar Marcelino, Marcelino Ruiz, Ruiz <laughs> who is a junior at Tenasket. And this is time for a segment that we call... That was then, and this is now! Yes, and I'm going to ask Marcelino some questions that only maybe your parents would know, somebody I would know, okay. something I would know. And then you're going to ask me a few questions, okay? Oh, right. That maybe only the young people know, right? <laughs> so let me ask you this. Who is, uh, who was the first Superman in the movies? Who? Who played the, the part of Superman? Hmm. Anybody know? Uh, Clark Kent. Clark Kent. <laughs> Chris, yeah. Christopher Reeve. Christopher Reeve. Cr Christopher Reeves, actually. Yeah. George Reeve on the television show. <laughs> who is Popeye? Popeye is a sailor man. Yeah, and he's, yay! He's like, okay, one more. What are Keds? Keds. Keds. What are Keds? Anybody? Their shoes. Their shoes. Yeah. Very good. Well done. See? Okay, now you have a couple questions for me that are, that are post-1995. Okay. Um, have you heard of the song Gangnam Style? No. Well, there's a, <laughs> there's a special dance for you. I was wondering if you knew it. I don't know. What is it? Show it to me. Okay, well, I'm going to show it, and maybe you can join in after me. Okay. You okay, All so right. it's simple. You know, you just kind of gallop around. Dun, 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 and then you do this. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> All right, Marcelino. 
We're both hipsters. We are. <laughs> There's only one hipster here, ladies and gentlemen. Back to you, Ashley. All right, Tom, all I can say is stick to your day job. Yeah, right, I know. <laughs> all right, thank you, Tom. CREM 2 is part of BELO. From coast to coast, BELO Media Company share the highest standards of journalism and community service. Listed on the New York Stock Exchange as BLC.